Gateway News at 10. The District 1 seat has been vacant since late last year when Councilman Burrell Odom passed away unexpectedly. But tonight, the Tuscaloosa City Council is officially whole again. Thanks for choosing WVUA News. I'm Tamika Alexander. First at 10 tonight, WVUA's Chelsea Barton joins us live in the studio with the latest on our newest council member. Tamika, the person now representing District 1 has quite a familiar name. Phyllis Odom announced last month that she planned to seek her late husband's seat and serve the remainder of his term. Last week, after no other candidates showed interest in the position, Mayor Walt Maddox announced that Mrs. Odom would be her husband's successor. Mrs. Phyllis Odom now sits in the same seat her husband did two months ago. I am the best person for that seat, being that I know him better than anyone. And I just appreciate um, the council and all they're doing to help me. And I look forward to a great term. The council and Mayor Walt Maddox say that feeling is mutual. Well, there's going to be nothing that can ever uh, fill the void of losing Mr. Odom, but having uh, Mrs. Odom serve on the city council is really going to be a treat for all of us. Uh, we know her, her, her compassion for her district. Um, her enthusiasm to serve to other people. So it's really going to be, I think, a, a, a smooth transition. Mrs. Odom tells WVUA today is exciting, but it does have its challenges. I got a little emotional this morning, but um, I knew that he paid the way for me to do this, and I appreciate him for that. And um, I just miss him so much, so I think this, this means a lot to me. I can feel him working through me because we've been together so long and this was his passion. Both Mrs. Odom and her daughter Lee have imagined what Mr. Odom must be thinking about his successor. Oh yes, he's probably shocked, <laughs> way past shocked that she's even doing it, but she was right there with him when he was campaigning, so he's guiding her now, you know, that she has this position. <laughs> he said, look at Phyllis Way. <laughs> He always called me by my main name, so he just say, look at Phyllis Wade. <laughs> he, he probably can't believe it, but I just, I think it's the right thing to do. Now Mrs. Odom tells WVUA she plans to continue on the projects her husband started throughout District 1. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Chelsea Barton for WVUA News. 